welcome back to my channel guys thank you for coming by and watching um if you're not into handbags or you don't enjoy watching um hauls then this is not the place for you to watch and I don't understand why you would spend any time watching anybody blabber on about handbags or luxury hauls um, if it's not your thing and um, I'm my husband is in the entertainment business or um, and a journalist and he puts himself out there all the time and I always commend him for sometimes there can be really mean people out there the trolls of the internet and um, and my short brief experience with it is we were on um, TV once together usually he's on TV by himself and online and there are some really mean comments out there about me and I was just thinking like you're making a judgment I think they called me um mail order bride and I was thinking, like I'm not a mail order bride I've grew up here how I speak English probably better than them and so what if a guy gets a mail order bride? He's lonely. He deserves happiness. What's wrong with that? Um, and that was just a brief moment of being on TV. And so I'm putting myself out there. I want to be more comfortable. I, I'm learning to be more comfortable because I am shooting videos for my company. So um, to do a handbag haul, if again, if this is not your thing, you don't like luxury handbags, you can just like move on to the next YouTube channel that you actually do enjoy watching so you're not wasting your precious time but I'm here to do a handbag haul yay um, if you watched my last couple of videos I did a unboxing on a Chanel jumbo silver caviar flat bag and that was so exciting um, and then I had how this haul happened I normally don't buy handbags um, this many in a short period of time but that's what I said last year and I work really hard for um, my money and I saved and um, and some of these deals I just couldn't quite pass up and so let's just go ahead and get to the haul right I mean that's what you guys are here for so and I can't believe my handbags are on the floor now um, let me reach over and grab it ah, excuse me oh, so the first bag I had, um, I got this because I had originally bought a YSL crocodile, um, monogram, um, chain bag, and I think it was in gray, and it was a beautiful bag. I was itching, you guys know when you have this itch to buy a bag, and you're like, I want a handbag, I want a handbag, I don't know what it is, um, I wasn't willing to put down money on a Chanel jumbo flap because it was just outrageously expensive. Um, I wanted to buy a Christmas present for myself. And so I had originally bought the gray bag and I wasn't really in love with it. I mean, I love it. And there's a, there's probably room for it back in my house <laughs> eventually. I'll probably end up buying it again. But at that time, I wasn't really in love with it. And... So I always go with what my husband says. He says, you have to buy what you love and you'll get more joy out of it and you'll get more use out of it. So um, I bought this Chloe Hudson bag. Ah. Now, I know it's been out in the community for a while, but I saw it on a great sale at, um, where did I get it? At Saks. And the guy who, the sale essay who was talking to me was so helpful and so sweet. And I just thought, I have to get the bag from this guy. He was selling Nancy, uh, Nancy Gonzalez to somebody else. And I just hemmed and hawed. And I walked into the Gucci store or Gucci um, section next to the Saxon Beverly Hills. And this was such an incredible buy. And I, have, I wanted it the first time I saw it. And I just when I saw it again a second time I just knew I had to have it um, I haven't used it yet because the weather here in California hasn't been that great um, I bought it just before Christmas and I was traveling right after Christmas and then New Year's came and then horrible weather happened and so um, this is more kind of like a summer bag right but what do you guys think isn't it gorgeous oh I just and I think I got this bag for about sixteen hundred dollars so the um you would think that it, it looks great like this doesn't it 
but I noticed that it, it, you know it catches right there so I would say wear it however you like to wear it um, you can see this here you can see how it has these little silver I'm sorry not silver these gold rivets is that what it is or grommets maybe rivets and it comes from here and I can't wait for this bag to get some I want to keep this forever I mean I, I always say 70s were my fashion period that if I could relive life again I would want to live it in the 70s because who doesn't love bell-bottom pants neckties like this the sexy look of being unbuttoned down to almost your your navel with bell bottoms and platform shoes um, I'm really short so <laughs> anything that gives me an extra four six inch boost I love and what I do caution about this bag is that and I think he said the same goes for the Drew bag and then there's also the um, not the Hudson maybe one of you guys can tell me it's a very similar shape but what happens is it sits on a flat surface like this for so long that the weight of the bag ends up pushing this forward so as you can see here it's a little bit flatter than this side if I get it at the right angle and if I give you a close-up you can kind of see how it's sort of curved in if I give you this little side shot see how here it can it should be like this and so he pointed it out to a few of the bags I was looking um, not the Hudson it's a, it's a very similar shape but it, it's minus this and it kind of flaps down like that without the tassel one of you guys can tell me I can't think of the name quite yet and so he says you, it sits down for so long that it starts getting smushed at the bottom and then it doesn't really ever gain back the shape and I didn't realize it did the same with this bag because it was sitting on my shelf for a, you know just for a couple of weeks or I don't know how long it was sitting there and this part here you can see how it's kind of bent in instead of this so I know I'm being a little picky but it's fine I also love it either way I mean I love this bag and you can see here it has two pockets let me pull out the um, the dust bag and it's kind of this um, canvas linen-y type of texture um, you can see in here and there's an extra pocket here with a care card it looks like a, oh they're giving these little authenticity cards which is kind of cool you can write down your name and kind of the date of purchase I haven't done that yet but I'll keep it like this I'm not gonna fill it out we have this here and um, I'll put it back in and then you have this final pocket here so there's a lot of space in this bag and um, you can see how this has this beautiful stitching and the quality of and the stitching is actually leather um, sewing it goes like this with the opposite side of the braids how beautiful is this god it smells really good too <laughs> and this is very sturdy brass um, handles and what he showed me was that this I'm only 5'1 so this bag kind of sits like this on me it's a little big but I, I like it that way because um, if it's smaller I can't really use it for too much stuff and I'm okay with it being oversized what he said was that I could also wear this crossbody and let's see if I can do this on camera right now but you can undo these straps I, I think he did it like this um, you can undo the strap so I'm undoing it here and I think you undo it here the knot in this stays so this knot never comes out and I want to say that if I can get this bag apart <laughs> this is crazy I'm doing this right now I'll but you can undo this okay this is not the time to do it maybe should this be done in review I may go ahead and sk uh, skip undoing this because I don't know how to put it back together but from what I understand you can pull up the strap down and then extend it to the full where it's gonna hang this low as a crossbody this doesn't really work even if it was lower <laughs> 
because it's too big for me as a crossbody. Um, but for someone who's maybe 5'7", five, 5'9", five, you could totally undo these straps at this these two points here. You can see that? Let me move out of the camera here. These two straps here. Okay, it's not doing a good job of autofocusing. Um, you can undo it and make this, the strap longer. So you can use it if you're a taller person. So I bought this in December and I just said, oh my God, I love this bag so much. It's been what I wanted. I really wasn't a fan of the YSL monogram. This is kind of more my speed and I wanted a brown casual weekend bag. I have a casual black bag, but I needed something that was just, that would go with a summer dress, that would go with um, a pair of jeans and t-shirt. This was a bag that fit the bill because it's really casual. Um, the and next that bag I have here, and the next haul I got was um, at at Christmas time. My husband gave me a Louis Vuitton Clever. Is it Clever? Clever? I don't know how to pronounce it. Maybe someone out there could um, help me. And he went off the list that I had given him. And every I'm very very lucky. I just have to say that. He, my husband just spoils me. Every year I, uh, not even every year, I have a kind of like an ongoing what T loves wish list. And I had listed a um, LV twist and a Capucines as part of it and a Chanel flap. He personally hates a Chanel flap. He thinks it looks old lady. Um, and, <laughs> and so he says, I'm never buying you a flap. If you're going to do it, you're going to have to buy it yourself if you want it. Um, but he does love the, um, certain LV pieces. And so he went and bought me a Kleber, surprised me with it. And um, before up to that, you know, he, I have a deal with Johnny Depp at LV, Louis Vuitton in Santa Monica. I send him, or I, if I like certain pieces, I will take a photo of it and I will, or from the website, or do a... Um, snapshot or I'll send him a request saying, hey Johnny, I saw this and this in this bag. Will you let my husband know if he wants to surprise me with something? These are beautiful. And so my husband and I have a joke now that whenever Johnny Depp sends him photos of handbags, he says, Johnny Depp is sexting me right now. I'm like, oh, what handbags is he sending you? What surprises are you going to have for me? So I'm very, very lucky that my husband believes that women should have beautiful handbags and beautiful things and beautiful jewelry and shoes. He is not one to ever say, oh, no, I can't believe you're spending money on that. He, uh, he gets it. So I changed, exchanged a clever for this. And I got this, so I count this as my Christmas present. So it's part of a handbag haul. The first one is the Chloe, H Chloe Hudson. Ugh, can't talk. The second was this, this twist, which is a great bag. Um, you know, this here turns. This epi leather is so durable. And this chain here, it's a pretty substantial chain. It's, um, it's substantial but lightweight at the same time. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but I mean this here is very malleable. Is that, um, can that be applied to leather? Um, or is it metal? But um, it's very, it's strong enough to be very firm, but it's not like the, the Damier Abin um, mono, I'm sorry, Damier Abin, never full mm in which those straps and that it digs into my shoulders and is just a pain to wear uh, if i put anything heavy in it i just know i can't carry it on my shoulders for too long or i need to have like a thick um, jacket in order to wear it or a sweater but this here it's fairly light but strong so i don't know how how to explain that it's like the lv straps are a little um the, the stainless steel is just, it's lightweight, so then it, the bag is not heavy on you, but um, it's very strong, so the quality is just amazing. And you can see here um, the shine on it, and if you open this here, here is what it looks like on the inside with one little pocket for um, the care and the other pocket I believe this here is like a little mirror so 
Um, and that's that's it for the pocket. There's just one empty area, and it's um, this is like a micro suede or suede interior. And my God, it smells amazing. So I don't know if this is called like a rose pink or what specific color it is. I wasn't even paying attention to this. I just knew that I didn't have um, a bright red kind of like standout type of bag. I do have other bags that are burgundy or um, uh, maroon. Uh, I think it's, that's color anyways, but I don't have anything that's a fun bright red color like this. So this is the second of my handbag haul in December. And then the last one for a haul is, if you saw my other video, it's this Chanel Jumbo flat bag. Ah, it's in caviar and silver and the straps. Oh my God, it's so great. Now, if you saw my, if you go click my other video, I will, um, I explain how I got this handbag that's brand new from Saks and Beverly Hills a $5,500 handbag for less than $2,000. Actually, $1,753. So if you look at my Chanel unboxing video, you'll see how I got it there. And you can see here, it's really brand new. Um, and you can see how I, how great it is. Oh God, it's so beautiful. The secret compartment that Coco used to keep her lovers um, letters this area here I haven't quite worked on it to release it but there is a pouch or a back area here this is called a, the caviar silver jumbo flat bag I believe Chanel calls it the timeless um, on their kind of sales order sheets but um, I think in this community you guys call it the flap Chanel and it's made in Italy and here are the compartments. And so I am so excited to use this. Oh, it's I can't so wait. You know, it means a lot to me. I couldn't ever, and so this is, the, sorry, this is the last of my my haul. I, had, I got three handbags in like a one month span. Not all in one day, but close enough that they all appeared on one credit card. These, this bag, and you can see them in comparison to this. If you guys would like the comparison, how, um, let's see how much bigger the um, the bags are in comparison to each other. So you can see that the LV's smaller. You can see the back of the bag, um, and you can see from the straps. I can show you how much taller the the Louis Vuitton strap is, but not by much. Just a little. Um, and you already seen kind of like the size comparison here. Um, but these, uh, so this difference, this bag for how I got for under 2000 brand new and my Chloe bag were all on one credit card. So it was like, it was a lot of money on the credit card at the end of the month, but I paid it off already. But this bag means so much to me just because I remember I eyed it a year and a half ago in the Chanel store and um, it's $5,500. It's a lot of money. Um, I normally would have never paid that much money for a handbag, but I ended up getting the um, Chanel boy bag in lambskin with the um, antique gold hardware instead of this bag. and. I couldn't decide between the two and I just said I can't spend 5500 so I bought the boy bag last year, um, about 18 months ago. But this time, since I was able to get it for less than 1800 I just, I, I went in. I said, you know, how can you not? And even the Chanel guy at the store says, you got this thing for a steal. You know that? It was like, literally, you got it for, I can't believe you got it for $1,800. Even Johnny Depp at the Louis Vuitton said, you got a Chanel bag for under 1800 Geez, you should could you can splurge a little on this bag. Go, you need to do it. So um, again, here's the, the the handbag hauls. I haven't even I have not worn any of these bags. Can you believe it? It's in California. The weather has been so horrible that I want to sleep with these bags. You guys, no. I, sorry, I just 
Um, I hadn't had a second to admire these since I've purchased them. They've been sitting in the boxes for the last couple weeks, two, three weeks, and um, now I get to actually use it. If you guys like these videos or if you want anything else in particular that you want me to shoot or record, I can, um, I can do that. I would love to do that for you guys if you want more videos, so let me know. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.